are going through humanity changes, you are also going through some uh, manipulated humanity changes. Everything is happening all at once on Earth at a speed you are not used to. This is uh, unlike any other time in human history. So even though your ancestry lines and the genetic codes you carry that would uh, allow you to reach inside yourselves and find a reference from the past, it's very confusing. It is a little like you are two planets in one. So the way we could describe it to you metaphorically, although to some degree uh, we aren't being fully metaphoric here, but it's probably the best way you could mm, mm, perhaps understand it on a 3D level, which by the way is a beautiful vantage point. I know that uh, you often will say things uh, like 3D is a lower form of consciousness and we would say, well you, with your higher consciousness, are in 3D form and 3D perspective, so it can't be that low, can it? It's actually quite magnificent from our perspective. It's a grounding force, this body of yours, through which all levels of consciousness can appear. And in fact, more levels of consciousness than ever before are now appearing through the human form. So, imagine you had a previous incarnation on another planet that was wildly different to Earth, you were telepathic, you understood energetic geometry, you were in and out of fractals all day long, it was not so earthly. And then you had a life on Earth that was much more third dimensional and earthly. And then for your next lifetime, there was the decision that you would have both of those lives overlaid upon you. You would be both remembering your past galactic life and you would be living your current Earth life, but your perception of reality would be in and out of the two different realms. Well, welcome to planet Earth circa 2023. This is what most of you are experiencing right now. Your galactic memories, and we don't even mean galactic memories from other lifetimes, although that is true for some of you. Uh, no, we mean the galactic field of consciousness that Earth is now becoming more in contact with and more, we will say, connected to is having a huge effect on your version of reality. It's why some of you uh, think that everything is very strange. Yes, even those of you that perhaps were having awakening experiences 20, 30 years ago ahead of the curve, thinking that back then what you were experiencing was extraordinary. It's even more intense now it's happening to the planet as a whole. It's not necessarily for some of you the fun party that you were hoping it would be. You perhaps had mental ideas that it would be expansive and joyous and more connected. And that is coming, that is available, that is there, that hasn't changed. But there is a rocky road, or we might call it an asteroid field, to get through first as Earth goes through this shift it is going through. Now, with all of that said, if you are honest with yourself, and if uh, unless you are very uh, much in isolation right now, this won't be true for you, or if you are not yet connecting with more like-hearted, like-minded souls. But if you are honest with yourself, you will notice that there is a more present level of conversation, of heart, of community, and of vulnerability happening, not just inside you, but with other people. That is the representation of the shift in consciousness on Earth. We have said it many times before. Uh, humans, people, are good. You are good-natured. It doesn't mean you aren't dealing with shadows. It doesn't mean you have to think of yourselves as perfect. And in fact, if anything, most of you are too hard on yourselves. So we're not encouraging you to what you might call here spiritually bypass, which we know is now a very popular term on Earth. Uh, we would actually argue it is... Uh, hard to truly spiritually bypass. You can manipulate with your mind uh, a spiritual bypass, uh, but your body won't let you bypass for very long. There will come a point where this body of yours will get your attention energetically one way or another. It will either collapse and go into decline, or it will mm, push through the volcanic energy that needs to erupt inside you so that you can go to the next level of consciousness as a human being. That is what many of you are witnessing in people around you or experiencing for yourself. And then the very sensitive among you who are already awake and you don't need to go through some big dramatic shift or opening or shall we say mm -mm 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 -mm, volcanic eruption in your life, it is a strange time in your awareness. 
It is a time where you are in and out of what you used to know as consciousness. You are perhaps a little more mm, earthquaked on a daily basis inside your awareness or your body. Doesn't always mean it's bad though. And this is where the training of your own vibration comes in. Are you paying attention to your ups and downs or your challenges and are you balancing them? Are you being a good parent of yourself and recognizing, ah, I've been through a lot the last three months. I'd better not just uh, suck it up and try and get through the next three. I'd better recognize that my body, my nervous system, the world I am in, the local world, the country I'm in, the area I'm in has been through a lot. It's time to balance that. It's time to breathe. It's time to let my body have some moments of peace, some moments of rest, some moments of surrender. And oftentimes your mind will scream out and go, how can I rest when the world is on fire? Well, the world is not actually any more on fire than it hasn't been for, than it has been for the last decades that you've been living. It is just that the fire has surfaced, volcanic, understand? So, why we say this to you is some of you are in a bit of a dance with your own minds and your minds are not letting you do what you need to do. And that spell has to be broken. So if you are finding you are one of those with an overly active mind or an argumentative mind that won't let you do what you need to do, breathe and smell the roses, you need to start playing some games with that mind of yours. You need to meditate. You need to find a way of stilling and slowing the mind. One of the things that works well for Lee is to remember he could be dead tomorrow, not with any morbid sense or any wish, but instead to recognize, ah, yes, this mind of mine that might be tracking the future, planning what I need to do next, thinking about yesterday, when it remembers it may only have 24 hours less left, that is a release valve. It brings you to the present. The mind stops trying to track everything and it suddenly releases into the sensory mind that you are all in possession of, which is awareness. A deep awareness of the fact that you are alive in a human body right now and you are consciousness informed. Several people have been asking me, what is initiation? Well, I know and I don't know. And what I mean by that is, initiation is a channeled mystery school. And in late 2021, I was in conversation with my guides and they specifically said to me, they would like to do a live weekly channeled message they wanted it to be called initiation, but they didn't want to talk about anything to do with it until it happened live with the people gathered. So we are about to do our third year of initiation. Initiation 2023 begins on October 25th and is running live through November 15th. Many people get worried when they hear me say it's live and think they're going to miss things or they can't be there. Don't worry about that. We make sure everything is archived for you as a video replay, as a transcript, so that you don't miss anything. But what I can tell you about initiation from the last two years is it was powerful. It was moving. I myself learn a lot when I do this because I never quite know what my guides are going to say. And in a way, they do a, an energetic rewiring of those of us in the course. It's gentle and subtle, but it's powerful too. So if you feel called to join us for your own personal initiation, we would love to have you with myself and my guides for Initiation 2023. Check out the link below for more details.